Greetings YouTube, I have featured some massive openings on my channel this week, crystal opening commentaries with 20 plus 5 stars and between 5 and 10 6 stars, just things that almost seem impossible for the average summoner to actually save up, because they are impossible for the average summoner to save up, even if you're uncollected, for that matter, even some of you who are cavalier who can't grind the arena, it may take you months to still form a 6 star basic crystal and that's it. And so. In this time, I want people to feel more community than ever. I want people to feel like they can have something to uh, grind for, something to save up for. And so crystal opening commentaries are not supposed to be just 25 stars and five six stars. They're supposed to be usually five five stars and hopefully a six star minimum. And that is a lot more achievable for somebody who wants to be featured on my channel but maybe doesn't want to wait two years to open crystals. So five five stars and a six star. And that is uh, going to bring us to somebody who's been waiting patiently for me to commentate their opening, Mr. Killers. We'll see if it's a killer opening, pun intended, as always. Um, I think it's five five stars, a six star, and then a legendary crystal. So this is obviously the appetizer, the free appetizer, if you will, because you're probably going to get a four star from this. And four stars are not captivating, but if you get that 20% RNG of the five star, well, that's important, and you didn't. <laughs> Spidey Gwen says, dupe me for a fourth time, even though I did not major in web design. Okay, so starting off real average, which you can see we got over 50,000 five-star shards and over 10,000 six-star shards. So for those of you who constantly ask me, Prof, what can I do to be featured on your channel? This is the minimum. 50,000 five-star shards, 10,000 six-star shards. It is not the easiest thing to wait for, but it does give you an incentive and I don't know if he's going to spin them out, if he's going to pop, if he's going to do a combination of both. Obviously, now, if he pops, he'd pop them all because you can't pop individually once you've purchased them in a batch like this. But we have the first five star. Out of five crystals, I'm thinking of one almost god tier champ realistically, but definitely not beyond god tier. And the first crystal is going to land on a Symbiote Supreme and a Dormammu Sandwich. Talk about an incinerated sandwich. That is an incredible start. And he's got to know it too. I would have taken a screenshot at that because that's the first crystal. And Soviet Supreme is definitely at the top tier of the Mystic class. So these four can be trash, and this is still a really solid opening. Wow. Uh, Ultron, Human Torch. Okay, now this is just getting stupid. I've said that a lot lately because I feel like people have been submitting these insane openings to me. And I, I remind you that I had somebody once. Oh, we're popping these three. Starkey? What? You've got to be kidding me. Let's just take this batch of five. And this is one of the greatest batches I've ever seen. I also love old Captain Marvel movie. I think she's uh, still solid. Of course, she has to be awakened in that power uh, meter used to increase her attack. But three out of five crystals? To get first time of Starkey, Symbiote Supreme, and Human Torch? That's stupid lucky. That's really three champions who are gods here and above. Uh, Captain Marvel movie is still better than average. And uh, Inferior Iron Man objectively is the worst champion of this batch. But still, if this is especially a first time dupe, he becomes a lot better with that arc overload regeneration. Alright, let's continue. And that is a first time arc overload regeneration ability. That is unbelievable. I think I might do the uh, the question mark box for the thumbnail. It's been a while since I busted that thing out. Okay, we expect trash from the six star because you just got a 60% drop rate of God tier and higher champions from five, five stars. I don't know if that's ever happened to me in the history of playing this game for four and a half years. And I have opened now probably over a thousand uh, five star crystals. All right, now is he gonna pop it or is he gonna spin it? Oh, he's gonna pop it. What? Sorry, headphone users. It's the Symbiote Supreme opening. You just got a five star, and you're thinking to yourself, all right, I'm going to take this guy up probably at least to rank three, but maybe even someday to rank four. And then you get a six star who, right off the top, starts as the equivalent of a rank four six star, even in some cases a little bit better than that in terms of the health and attack. This opening was stupid, Killers, and I know you've been waiting a couple weeks for me to commentate this, so I appreciate the patience, but wow, this just goes to show you don't need to open 
25 stars and 10 six stars to have beyond God to your luck. But at the same time, don't try this at home. I remember the opening that I commentated months back where a guy opened four five-star crystals and three out of four of them were Iron Fist. Just a triple. It's like getting mugged and then somebody wakes you up just to knock you out again. And they do it three times in a row and you just want to quit the game afterwards because you're so fatigued. That's the average five-star basic crystal opening. This is not. But wow, killers... This was a literal killer opening. I can't believe that you had such great luck with such a small sample size. This goes against all the average data. Because remember, average data will say, maybe you'll get a Nebula, or maybe you'll get a Doc Ock, or maybe you'll get an Angela in there. But then you're going to get a lot of Thor Jane Fosters, and a lot of uh, Iron Packages, and a lot of Groots, right? We've all been there. Not today, everybody. Killers. Truly a killer opening. Congratulations.